Welcome to Southeast Asia English Business Program, Fortune Express. I'm Visna, your host for today's program. Fortune Express start launching a special series of reports on new financial power, and today we will broadcast the third episode on the topic of banking industry in Cambodia. We have an exclusive interview with Dr. Anthony, President and Group Managing Director of Asilida Bank PLC. As stated by the National Bank of Cambodia, by the end of 2017, the number of banks and microfinances has increased dramatically. There are 39 commercial banks, 15 specialized banks, 69 microfinance institutions, and other microfinance deposit-taking institutions. Among the commercial banks, Asilida Banks is the top bank in Cambodia, with lots of clients and employees. By the end of June 2019, Asilida has 12,000 employees and provides more than 500 ATM across the country. Asilida is the local company started out in 1993 and reached out its branch to Asian countries. In addition, Asilida remained itself as one of the top banks despite the fact that many competitors in terms of interest rates and quality. What is the history of this prominent Asilida bank? Why is it so successful in becoming the leading bank in Cambodia? What are the competitive advantages of Asilida? In order to keep updated, is Asilida ready to compete with new banks entering the Cambodian market? And what market strategies are carried out by Asilida Bank? So thank you. So thank you for your interest to know about myself, about uh, Asilida Bank. No? So for Cambodian, they call a Cilida for foreigner, they like shortcut, so they call a Kalida Bank no? and register at the Ministry of Commerce as far as the National Bank of Cambodia. So my name is In Chani, I'm the uh, group manager of uh, Azida Bank. I also myself is one of the founder of uh, Azida Bank. It's a bank established in 1993 for small and micro enterprise development. And the full name actually at that time uh, named as Association of Cambodian Local Economic Development Agency. Now you can look into the name of uh, uh, Azida Bank then. Uh, Economic Development Agency, you know why we name it? Because our role at the time, because we work with small and medium enterprise, help them to start and to expand their business. So we name Association of Cambodian Local Economic De Development Agency because we believe that for uh, entrepreneur of uh, small business, uh, uh, medium enterprise, you know, uh, because when they start the business or they expand the business, so they uh, provide job. They, like, it's like a more income for the for the for themselves, yeah, and also for the worker who works who work in the small and medium enterprise, and this is uh, can define as uh, like uh, economic development, yeah? and why we use the name uh, Association of Cambodian Local Economic Development Agency, and in short we call it ACLIDA. So 1993 NGO for small and micro enterprise development, and then in 2000. Uh, it uh, obtained license as a, a specialized bank uh, named as uh, AZ Lida uh, Bank LTD, uh, co LTD at that time. But uh, three years later, AZ Lida uh, obtained license as a full flat commercial bank so that we can provide all financial services uh, more, more than the traditional bank because uh, we not just provide uh, like a loan to small to medium but also to low segment of the community also. I should mention uh, like uh, ACIDA, uh, the first is like NGO and my girlfriend and how can you transform it to like the leading in Cambodia, leading bank in Cambodia? You see, we always listen to uh, our customer, listen to the stakeholder, you know, so which is uh, both the uh, customer of uh, micro, of small and medium enterpri enterprise and also listen to the local authority who uh, like uh, support us uh, at the local level, at the like uh, central level, because they advise that the if uh, if uh, work only as an NGO, because NGO it means for not for profit, no. Yes. But uh, Ezida in 1998, Ezida became a break even at that time, and then we look into the law in Cambodia at that time, because uh, uh, profitable organization uh, we should. Uh, uh, transform no, to the private owned company so that we can mobilize more uh, fund to fund our growth. So in 
so that we can provide more financial products and services. Because as an NGO in 1993 and through 1998, we can only provide loan to micro, to small and to medium enterprise, but we cannot mobilize a saving from the public. So this is one of the major reasons why we, after we became a break even in 1998, we look into the law, we look into the need from the market, and then we think that we must uh, at all times comply with the law of the Kingdom of Cambodia and uh, register with the Ministry of Commerce, apply for a license from the National Bank of Cambodia, and then we provide uh, more financial product, not just loan, but uh, saving, uh, transfer, you know, and uh, other payment services as uh, stated in our license because license as a commercial bank or as a bank we can provide loan we can provide uh, saving uh, and, uh, and payment services those are defined as the traditional uh, like uh, banking operation uh, under the banking law what the different uh, be, uh, compared to the other bank is that do uh, like uh, does more than the other bank do because the other bank only do uh, i mean open access for for like a commercial loan to a larger or corporation, no? but as that target all segment, which is include micro, small, medium, and corporate. No? According to the National Bank of Cambodia, AC that still is the largest and also with the amount of the client, also like uh, the brand. So, would you mind to tell us about uh, how many staff now and about the revenues? As at the end of June uh, this year, June 2019, we have. Uh, uh, 12,000 uh, employees. In fact, uh, ACDA Bank became the largest bank, the top bank in Cambodia since 2010 in term, and remain as the top bank until today. We have uh, 262 branches and offices in Cambodia and we became the regional bank because we have uh, uh, two subsidiaries, one in, in Laos and the other one in Myanmar. No? We are the largest bank. In terms, if you look into the the report uh, produced by the bank supervision of the National Bank of Cambodia, Akira Bank have 49.5% uh, uh, in terms of number of uh, uh, account, yes. deposit, uh, account saving and deposit compared to the whole bank industry, so 49.55%. Uh, and in terms of uh, number of uh, active borrower, customer is around 49%. So almost 50 percent, because there are many commercial banks, special banks, and licensed microfinance institutions. But compared to banks, uh, commercial banks, special banks, actual bank account for almost 50, 50. Yeah, mm. yeah in terms of uh, customer, uh, in terms of market share uh, of volume, or in terms of US dollar yes. for loan is around uh, 17 percent, and uh, deposit around 16 percent. Mm. Uh, yeah, so we we are the largest bank. And in terms of loan asset quality, remain the top. And then we have the largest uh, ATM uh, machine, ATM network, over 500 ATM uh, machine uh, uh, across the country. Yeah. ACDA is the first Cambodian local friend, but can reach out to the like Myanmar and Laos, as you mentioned in the moment. Mm -hmm. So why you uh, reach out to this country? You see, we, in our strategy, when we expand to other countries in the region, we look, in, uh, look into the economic condition of that country. So Myanmar and Laos is similar uh, to Cambodia. At that time, I mean 2008, we expand to Laos. Okay. 2013, we expand to Myanmar. The economy of those countries is similar in terms of uh, business sector, no? in terms of uh, the income level of those, uh, those countries, and also the, the need of those countries. So that's why we select uh, two countries in addition to Cambodia. You know, originally we, we look at uh, ASEAN and the country along Mekong, but uh, because of the, I mean, infrastructure of uh, bank and financial services change, we uh, adopt the digital one. So we might not need to expand to all 10 ASEAN members, only three countries, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and then use uh, digital infrastructure so that we can reach our customer of those 10 ASEAN countries. Yeah. Welcome back. The total population of Cambodia was estimated at 16 million people according to the population census in 2017. Why more and more foreign investors are coming to invest in banking sectors in Cambodia? 
How does National Bank of Cambodia treat those local and foreign banks? You know, why a small country like Cambodia, 16 million population, and why so many uh, interested investors, no? especially in banking sector, look into our Cambodia investment law, encourage uh, uh, all, th all investors, no? like, uh, and then they treat the investor equally. It doesn't matter if it's a local or foreign, no? like a local, uh, local bank and foreign bank, plus a uh, foreigner they can own, if they want to own the company 100% they can own. No? no requirement for joint venture, except if they want to own land, they cannot own. No? Oh, yes, uh, yeah. right. But if they like to own the company, they can own 100%. No? So this is the good thing about Cambodian investment law. Secondly, about because uh, US dollar is a low circulation in Cambodia, so they don't need to worry about foreign exchange laws for an exchange because they, they can use the US dollars also. And then tax, in terms of tax, our tax is so encouraged, attract more, because it's simple, yeah? uh, yeah. tax, uh, tax payment, in terms of profit tax. Uh, capital repatriation, if you make a profit, you can, you, you want to repatriate those capital back home, you don't need to worry, no? because there is no restriction. So this is the good thing about Cambodian invest, uh, investment law. And then back to the competition, there are over 40 banks, uh, commercial banks, special banks in Cambodia. A uh, lot of competition in, in Cambodia. But uh, like uh, I said, the vision and the mission of the bank, like uh, Isida Bank, can uh, make a credit bank remain the top in the market, even there are many competitors in terms of uh, uh, pricing, in terms of service quality, but Isida Bank always focus on service quality. You know? Because the uh, banks, financial inst institution can provide a uh, loan with lower interest rate, no? can provide financial services with low fee, but the quality of services is key. As stated in the report of the National Bank of Cambodia in 2018, Cambodia deposit customer in banks and microfinance institutions exceed 6 million and increased of 13% compared to 2017. In addition, the number of debtors has also increased to 2.85 million, an increase of 3% compared to 2017. With the constant development of the banking industry in Cambodia, there are around 2,000 branches of banks and microfinance institutions throughout Cambodia. As for the ATM and automatic deposit machine, it has dramatically increased around 1,800 units nationwide. So what's going on with the banking industry in Cambodia right now? Bank is like a backbone. It's the backbone of the economy, you know, because we provide financial services to uh, the entrepreneur of uh, small, uh, micro, small and medium enterprise. Because uh, when they can start or can expand their business, like a job creation, yes. income generation, and then they pay tax. Yes, they pay tax. So it's like a benefit to the whole, uh, the whole uh, stakeholder, to the entrepreneur themselves, to those who, who will work for the enterprise, and also benefit to the country because it uh, can help solve the solution of unemployment, mm -hmm. and also help, help increase the income uh, level of the people. No? Mm -hmm. So the, you see a small enterprise uh, defined as the engine for growth of each country, the more uh, specific country have more small enterprise, it means that uh, uh, they can contribute no, to the employment, to the income, mm -hmm. yeah, and they have job, yes. and then they contribute back to the country because they pay tax. Sure. So the more each country have a small enterprise, it will help solve a lot of uh, issues. No? You know, uh, compared to, uh, you talk about 20 years ago, yes. right, two decades ago, two decades. the bank Industry in Cambodia is a very strong, very strong, very strong. They are united under one association with the, with the clear guidance from our regulator, which is the National Bank of Cambodia. Very strong in such a way, 20, 20 years ago, uh, some bank only like uh, operate in selected, uh, selected provinces uh, mm. uh, and town. But uh, now they are everywhere. And 20 years ago, they only have uh, some uh, physical branch and offices, not all, not cover the whole country. They almost have no ATM machine. Yeah, I can say no ATM machine, they don't have. 
they they have some point of sale. Yes. Yeah. But now they have a complete set of uh, physical in, uh, of infrastructure. Firstly, it's a branch and offices cover the whole country, and then they have electronic infrastructure, ATM machine, point of sale, internet bank. Mm. Uh, again, it's uh, operating, yeah, everywhere in the country, and thirdly, uh, more bank and financial institutions start to have digital infrastructure, fintech product. So uh, uh, they are very strong, which uh, we never have. Uh, such a strong, complete set of infrastructure in the past. Uh, once again, uh, thank to the government and the regulator because they guide. Yes, they encourage us to grow, but at the same time, they help us to manage our growth yeah, by risk mitigation through the regulation no? so that we are at, at all time uh, follow the uh, guidance, uh, regulatory guidance of the National Bank of, of Cambodia. and. The challenge, like I said, because uh, technology is the challenge. No? It means that uh, invest. You see, it's like a smartphone. A smartphone update to the next version every two to three years. Yes. Yeah. So, like why uh, technology uh, for bank, which is include the uh, mobile application. Also, that's why I said uh, we cannot say our our app is the latest one because it keep uh, developing. No? It keep improving. Yeah. yeah. So I call it the challenge, and then it make us m uh, put more investment on on that, and uh, because uh, many banks, more and more banks start to focus on uh, on uh, digital. So uh, our challenge is to maintain our like experienced staff in IT related, no? yeah. in IT. So this is the the the, the challenge, yeah. and you know we cannot stop at this level because uh, firstly. Uh, Yes, uh, to service uh, the the population of 16 million uh, people, and we look into in terms of connection. I mean, uh, all bank and financial institution in the domestic market, mm -hmm. and thirdly, we need to uh, also engage with the uh, uh, bank and financial institution in ASEAN. No? So that because you you might see that uh, recently the National Bank of Cambodia have. Uh, uh, launch their uh, Bakong, you know, Bakong is with the aim to uh, for bank and financial institution to expand their uh, like uh, coverage. Uh, a low customer of of a certain bank can engage uh, with the other bank uh, financial institution customer. The idea. Uh,